Travis Richardson Outdoors with Silky Saws. And what we're talking about today is compression and tension. When a material has fallen onto the ground, we enter into these two different properties of compression and tension. So as a tree pushes down, the way the material pushes down, we're gonna have tension on the bottom side of that tin and compression on the top where our material is bending, causing force on the top. Why is this important, you ask? Well, as I'm making my cuts, if I've got a lot of compression on the top side, my saw is gonna wanna get stuck and I'm not gonna be able to get through the material. Where if I cut from the tension side, it moves up nice and easily and lets me get through the material. It's a way to keep your saw from getting stuck as you process material that's gone onto the ground. And this happens a lot of times in blowdowns or clearing out material, or even if you're in the woods as a survivalist preparing your shelter and you're processing things, getting your saw stuck can cause your saw damage. It can also cause you more energy and a loss of effective time. So as you're working through material, start your cut off slow. Watch how the wood reacts. If you see the cut start to close down, you know that you're cutting on the compression side. You wanna to go to the tension side and you can finish your cut up from the tension side. Same thing, if you're cutting on the tension side and the material starts to pinch your saw, you know you're cutting on the compression side now because the material has changed as you've cut it. So you simply just pull your saw out or break the cut off like that and get your saw out and that'll keep you an efficient worker in the outdoors.